today I show you what happens when you cannot send RCS messages on Samsung. This is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and on the right side is the Sony Xperia 1 Mark 5. These phones are talking to each other but the Sony Xperia 1, the, the Android phone, the Sony Xperia on the right side it can send RCS messages to the Samsung Galaxy phone but not the other way around. So if you see here from the Sony there is a SMS received. And when it's sending, it's sending RCS messages, but receiving SMS messages. So that's weird. So here I have the setting. This is the Samsung phone and I have RCS chats received. These two, but then sending SMS messages. So how is possible? Well, it could happen that if you change the settings, this is the Google Messages app. So this is for the Google Messages app. On Samsung, this is going to be the app that's default starting in January 2025 and anyway it's a better app than uh, anything that it's a pretty good app I use it I used it before it was the default and if you don't have it you can get it from the Play Store from the fo Samsung phone I cannot send an RCS message test RCS let's call it like this and you will see that it receives it as SMS and when I send it, it shows here, it will show me the SMS button here. I don't have the option to send it as RCS. I can get a schedule for the message, but not to send it as RCS. And we can try now make a quick test and I can send this one. That's a test RCS. Test. Test it. <laughs> And now I send back a reply from this phone and this one will show that it's locked here and it's receiving RCS message. So it can receive RCS messages, but not send. The problem in this case is, is uh, pretty easy to solve, but it's not so easy to find. If you want to check the settings for the messages app, go to the messages app on the main contacts list, tap on your profile picture here. In the settings menu that shows up here, you go to settings. And in the settings page, you go to in RCS messages, make sure that turn on RCS is enabled, that your status here is connected. I'm gonna blur the phone number here if I remember. And then you can choose to send read receipts or show typing indicator or automatically send by SMS if the RCS is not enabled or also to if you choose to auto download files. I wouldn't download files over roaming, that's for sure. So these are the most important settings. It will ask, it will send you a message, a code or a call to verify that you're sending, you actually own this phone. If you have RCS working with other chats, but not in this one, you go to the three dot menu on this chat here. And then on the details, on the details page here, you will have the details of the contact you're talking to. You will see there is this notification here that says end to end encryption is off and is not available in this conversation. If you set the option, only send SMS and MMS messages, you basically block the RCS feature. So I will disable this. After only send SMS and MMS messages button is disabled, now I can actually see the end-to-end -end encryption is on. So now I can send an RCS message in this chat. So that's the conversation on the right side. And I send it. And it's now it's RCS. They are all RCS in this conversation from this point on. And when I type here, when I'm typing here, you will see this is, I received it on the other side. So this message here, it was sent, sent and received. And you can send as many messages as you like. This is an RCS message. You can even send the picture if you wanted to. You can send a voice message like this, just like a WhatsApp conversation. You can send an emoji. This is, it's working now. So check the settings, the general settings for RCS messages that RCS is enabled and you have your phone linked there. Uh, or if you have the phone verified, make sure that's okay there. And on the setting for the chat, make sure that it's not forcing it to send only SMS and MMS. Thanks for watching.